2022, guys. I'm going to grind so hard. I'm not going to lie. I completely let you guys down this year. But it's not because of me. It's because NBA 2K21 was honestly the worst 2K I ever played in my whole entire life. And it was just so ass. And, like, it was just terrible. So, we'll see what they do this year, man. If 2K22 isn't good, I don't know what I'm going to do. But this, my team this year, I think most of the community could agree with me this year. This was the worst, like, the worst game I've ever played in my life in 2K history. I mean, the gameplay was terrible. The content made no sense. And it was just absolutely terrible. Um, there was just way too many cards that I just didn't like. But anyways, enough rant. If you guys are new, please sub it up, comment down below. We do post every single day. Um, we're going to go over this cover athlete stuff. So, you guys probably already saw it, but we're going to go over it anyways. Let's remove this. We're going to go on the internet. We're going to go over to Twitter, and we're going to show you what is good, boys. So, um, let's see. My computer actually is dying, I guess. There we go. Okay. So, here we go. Notifications. We're going to go over to um, my team. And we're going to see what's up. So, alright. So, this one is the introducing our GameStop exclusive cover athlete. I thought it was Sue Bird. I don't know. It's Candace Parker. I never, I don't know anybody in the WNBA. So, now I know Sue Bird and Candace Parker. Um, this is actually pretty cool. Maybe some girls will start playing 2K. I never seen one girl play 2K in my whole entire life. So this could bring some new players to the game, which is cool. It's very possible, very possible. So that's a good start. Um, not only that, I wonder if there's gonna be girls or women in my team. That would be pretty cool. Um, but this is a introducing our GameStop exclusive cover athlete. So that's only for GameStop. So now, how, here's, here's how the anniversary works. The pre-order bonuses work. Of course, my computer's tweaking for no reason. So pretty much, um, the pre-order bonuses work this way. Um, pretty much the, mo the most expensive one I'm guessing is this one. The 75th anniversary edition is going to be, it's going to be this one. So this one right here, this is like the legendary edition. I believe this one's gonna be around a hundred dollars it's gonna come with like 100k vc a bunch of my career bs and a bunch of garbage my team packs so i would say buy the hundred dollar edition but it's terrible but the only thing is i think you could get the game early by like five days if you do get the hundred dollar edition so that is worth it um i do agree with that but it's just the packs that come with it and all the rewards the only thing that's worth it is the vc and the and the, the you get the game earlier that's the only thing that's worth it other than that it's not worth it at all so weird it's it's okay me personally i whatever if i can get the game early i'm gonna get the game early i'll drop the 100 bucks but it's really not worth buying it because the my team packs if you're a my team player they don't work they're not good they're not worth it so it, it all depends what you're into um, I would definitely not buy a disc. Discs are done. Um, I'm just not a fan of discs anymore. It's just all downloads. You know what I'm saying? It's all downloads. Um, and then we got obviously the big one in my opinion, the Luca. Love it. Love the cover. It looks so good. This is for the regular one. Now, me personally, I love the. I just want Luca on my screen. This is beautiful. I love Luca. Luca's a dog. He's a probably literally in the Hall of Fame in like three years already. Um, probably one of the best. He's top five in, my, in the NBA, in my opinion. He's top five. You could disagree, whatever. Yas is number one. He's the best player in the league. Then Kevin Durant, in my opinion. Then, ah, uh, we're not going to get into this because then people are going to hate. But Luka Doncic is absolutely incredible. And he is the main cover athlete. So, like, which one would I buy? Personally, I would buy any of them. Like, honestly, I, I would love to buy the $60 one, but the $100 one is VC. It has a couple garbage My Team packs that some uh, that I could pop. Maybe they fix that up, but usually the packs that they give you are terrible. They literally give the worst packs ever for free. The worst packs ever. Uh, but we'll see, man. This year, I'm hoping 2K is more rewarding. I'm hoping the grinding makes sense, and I hope it doesn't take 10 years. We'll see, though. Um... And also, like, they, they need to do a lot of things this year. They cannot have 4,000 cards in the game. That's also what ruined the game. They dropped way too many cards, and it ruined the game. But we'll see. Listen, I'm not going to complain, but I want to hear what you guys think of 2K21. I want to hear what you guys think of 2K22. Me, personally, I think 2K21 was absolutely the worst 
game I've ever played in my whole entire life of playing any video game ever. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. And I'm not kidding at all. There is not one game mode in NBA 2K20 in NBA 2K21. There is not one game mode where you could say that this game is actually good. Like I honestly would love to hear it because there is not one game mode. First off, they still drop super packs that are VC only. Why? Just why? That's number one. These are the worst packs ever. The gameplay sucks, and look at the unlimited rewards. I'm 0 and 4. I was trying to use like some budget cheese squad. I rage quit every single game. I couldn't take it. Um, but like, I don't know. We'll see, guys. I don't like limited either. Limited's not rewarding whatsoever. You get one dark matter that's not usable. But though, listen, I'm not gonna complain. I want to hear what you guys think. I think 2K22 is going to be 100 million times better. I don't think it can get worse than 2K21, but we'll see. That's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a cool one. Peace.